All of our guests today, including Arcturus Urbe, standing by, brought to you by our title sponsor, Able Auctions, ableauctions.ca. Latvia wins a bronze medal at the World Hockey Championships. Their goaltending coach, Arcturus Urbe. Yeah, remember him. Who helped out, uh, who helped out Arcturus Seelofs. Yep. At the World Championships. 13 NHL seasons, including one with the Canucks in 97, 98. And Arthur's Urbe joins us now. Arthur's, thanks for doing that, sir. How are you? Uh, it's uh, quite uh, fun to receive a phone call from BC and, uh, and revisit those old days through the, I guess, new experience and a little bit through the eyes of uh, another Arthur's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just your your opinion uh, on his performance, MVP performance at the Worlds, Arthur's. Well, uh, what I what can I say? Uh, obviously, it was uh, uh, in a, some sort of uh, way a reincarnation of uh, Miracle on Ice, mm-hmm. the World Championships, and uh, nobody. I don't think anybody really believed that it's possible for our, for our team, except uh, ourselves. Uh, we, had, uh, we had a group of guys who first believed in themselves and then start to truly believe in each other and start to do their job to their best ability. And uh, we, were not the, we were not the stronger team or more, more skilled team than uh, some of those opponents that we beat, but we had a better team in those particular games and it's it's all started from uh back end from uh arthur shilas who backstopped us and uh from my own perspective we had a three good good goalies we we wanted to spread uh workload amongst themselves uh and uh, gave a start uh Gave a start to the our goaltender Pundanans who plays in um, Swiss League. It didn't go as well as we wanted, and uh, knowing who who we have uh, on a bench at the time, having Arthur's, uh, we did not hesitate in the first game against Canada, and they, that tremendous change that uh, that took place when he stepped in with his poise and confidence he just gave us all on a bench players uh, hmm. and uh coaching staff alike the total confidence that he can stop every single shot you won't believe how i felt on the bench just watching him play and he he actually got scored four times and after every single goal that happened we just knew He's going to stop the next one, and the next one, and the next one. Oh, too bad. There was some kind of mishap on our goal. It, it didn't matter to players or us. We knew he was going to stop this next one. It, and it carried on all the way through to the final whistle, which was the winning OT goal uh, mm-hmm. against U.S. in Tampere. Arkers, do you feel uh, that he is, and he played some NHL games uh, this past season, do you feel he's an NHL caliber goaltender, Arkers Silovs? Uh, do I know it? Uh, I, I will rephrase this question or, or don't, don't answer the question. I will go with a little, little bit of my own experience. Mm-hmm. Watching him play, watching him react to the little I didn't have to do very much, I'm going to be honest. Just watching him to little moments, reacting to some suggestions or just signs. I felt like I have really myself in the net in a way. And I could physically feel what he was doing and what he was going through in the net. It was... It was unbelievable feeling when you had that, when you feel that fire and that just uh, hunger for a save, for a puck, and just total, total denial that puck should be in any possible way, in any situation, uh, should somehow pass him, 
Like there was no agreement with that. That it, it's not in his, you know, single bone of his or in single nerve of his that he will agree that Puck can get past him. It doesn't matter. Breakaway, screen, whatever. He just does not take it. So, I mean, it's, it's a gift. It's a gift to <laughs> relive that, but through the, through the goal he actually plays. And uh, I say I was very, very fortunate to be able to work it, with him in a, in a tournament like that. And, and surprise, surprise, hmm. he ended up playing only, not playing only five minutes in the whole tournament. And he took it in stride. He handled it pressure so tremendously and played more minutes than any goalie, played more shots, and uh, I think he deservedly uh, got the uh, MVP of the tournament. Arthur's, uh, is, he, is he an NHL goalie? Yes, he is. When? <laughs> well, like it was in uh, Carolina for me, and now it is, and in Vancouver, and now mm-hmm. it is uh, for you guys with him in Vancouver. It's just a matter of time. When the team feels it's time, he's ready. But he, when he gets his chance, he will seize it, just like he did uh, in those five games he played for the team this season. Arthur's, uh, we saw the celebration uh, uh, in Latvia. Uh, so many, the country yeah. was captivated. Um, the whole country was behind you, Arthur's. How wonderful was that? Uh, it's a um, it's a uh, once in a lifetime, not once in a generation kind of uh, opportunity for people to enjoy something like that. We have had some gold medalists in individual sports or even tandem of our uh, of our um, beach volleyball. Our our people love hockey. Yep. They have been following us. Always, but uh, this team was put so well together that every, every, I think per person, and what I ha- have now learned, even non fans, uh, loved just, uh, just the chemistry of the team, the blocking the shot, the 100% effort on every shift, all the way till the last whistle. To the bronze medal. The yeah. Hey, Arthur's. Uh, be- yeah, before we let you go, Arthur's, for people who don't know, I know you were the goaltending coach for Latvia at the Worlds, but what are you up to these days? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm in a way, I'm free agent. Mm. <laughs> I, I love, I love my, <laughs> I love my, my coaching, but that's a part, part-time job. Uh, I had been coaching a uh, local club in, uh, in Latvia for, for a few seasons, for three seasons. That was pre-COVID. COVID uh, put a big uh, dent yep. into the, into the uh, national tournament. It, ha- it didn't get finished and in the youth coaching. So, and uh, ever since, I was just uh, doing uh, personal training <laughs> Not, on my own uh, little ice rink at, at home during COVID for my young goalies. And after that, I was uh, semi-retired. But uh, you know what they say. Uh, once, once you're in hockey, you, you, you can get the, uh, the guy away from hockey, but you cannot, cannot get the hockey out of him. So yeah. this was the offer I got. Uh, and it was uh, such a fun opportunity i i agreed and had a time of my life so hopefully there are another opportunities that come and i can uh, i can uh, enjoy the that that uh, that true drive to to be with the team and help help the guys so we'll see what's what's uh, next for me but uh, i got the taste again and and loved it 
Well, I'll tell you, the pitchers out of Latvia, that celebration oh, was, was, so nice. was something else. Ar- Archers, thanks so much. You have a lot of fans here in Vancouver. I know you only spe- spent one season, but you, you have a lot of fans here in, in Vancouver. Thanks so much for joining us, and, and all the best, and congratulations on the bronze. Thank you. And if I have a second to add, uh, I had only one year in uh, mm, Vancouver, Vancouver. Yeah. In, in, and in Canada. As mm-hmm. a matter of fact, and uh, the respect that the fans had for, for us as the players, it was it was different. It was something that I cherish, remembering, and it was difficult season in Vancouver. I remember that too. But nonetheless, fans were so so tremendous, and uh, also the time in Vancouver, it's it's legit. It was it was definitely by far the best, and I believe. Even still, it's the best city to play hockey uh, because what the city got, brings uh, on the table. Uh, it's a time for uh, for um, for cities to celebrate some achievements, and so far there have been a couple of finals. I I hope and uh, and first I hope and then I we you know we believe and then we achieve and with. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna right now just uh, say as a, as a flattery, but with Arthur's, I can see it's possible. Awesome. Awesome. I, I know it takes the. I, I know it takes a team effort, and it's from the from the top of the head to the very bottom to the people who work in locker room. But if 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 they put it together, it's possible. Arders, thanks so, so much. That's what I. That's what I wish for for Canucks. Yeah, and and and, and trust me, I think that if they did win a Stanley Cup, the celebration would be different versus when they lost the Stanley Cup <laughs> a, a, a couple of times, three times. As a matter of fact, it, it happened twice. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, players cannot afford to win the final. That's right. Yeah. Okay, Arders, thank you so much, sir. Appreciate it. All the best. Yeah. It was fun talking to you. You bet. All the best to the whole city. Enjoy your summer. Right back at you. Thank you, Arters. Appreciate Thank it. you, Arters. Arters, you hear what he had to say about uh, Arters Seelofs. Uh, nothing but praise. What else would you expect? He didn't. He, he didn't take any of the credit. By the way, no. He said it was all about uh, uh, young ar- ar- archers versus yeah. o- o- old archers, and and good on him. One thing about him, I remember interviewing him back in the day when I, I was. Too. He can talk. He can you, talk. You saw evidence of that. DTMZ next. Donnie and Dolly, the team on check.